Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Libras and happy Tuesday. Hopefully you all are having a great day today, Libras. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set, right? Yes, Libras. Let's get into it. Let's get into your reading. We're not doing any numbers today. We're going to do just a straight reading. So this is a general reading. These are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Yes. Yes. Let's get into it. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's go, Libras. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my romantic, charming, great listeners, fair-minded, idealist, understanding, cooperative, diplomatic, gracious, social, justice, <laughs> gods and goddesses for all of my wonderful Libras in the house. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And thank you for your support. I appreciate you, 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 and you. Yes, in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful Libras? Yes, let's pull it out, Libras. Now, you know we... Um, you know, we're moving towards a full moon, right? Yes. So a lot of emotions are being exposed within people as well as around them, right? So don't be surprised if some people try to come back into your life, trying to express themselves, right? People who played a role and like I said, I, that's, that's the energy that's coming through before I even laid the cards out. Trying to express themselves even though they have hostile, hostile personalities um, maybe can be a little argumentative, just selfish, the whole night, y'all, trying to come back into your space. But trust and believe, Libra, they were absolutely a problem in keeping you so distracted that you, you, you just lost sight of your money, for real. Like you lost sight of your money. They were just such a distraction in your life. But here we have the five of pentacles, right? We're going to talk about this in just a second. We have the six of cups. I'm going to help y'all stay focused. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the King of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Five of Swords. Let me move this over here for just a second. Yes, 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 that full moon exposes a lot of things within each and every one of us and around us. But if you know what's coming, you know how to prepare. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, you know how to prepare. So boom, listen. Okay, so this person, this person, when I look at this, this person right here that was causing you a lot of headache and stress, they were absolutely distracting you from opening up this vault right here filled with money. The sooner you get away from this right here, the sooner you'll realize you all had, always had the key to open up the vault to a lot of money because you already have the ability to manifest whatever amount of money you want. So this one right here, you need to pay in dust. <laughs> they need to be looking at brake lights, you leaving the situation, no more hostility, no more drama, right? And so hopefully with this full moon, you're seeing that for yourselves, you know, um, gearing up towards the full moon. Some people have, may have already left relationships like this, very hostile relationship was always argumentative, always just a lot of drama going on the whole nine yards, right? Because you already know your earning potential. You have double amount of strength when it comes to your money. Um, and you are working out your daily affairs when it comes to money, but you know you have the ability to manifest a great deal of money. And I'm not talking about just a few coins. We're talking about bank size amount of money, right? So this is the time, Libra, where you want to focus on your business, right? If you're a leader in the workplace, you want to focus there. If you are a, um, a visionary, you want to start thinking, okay, maybe I want to expand, expand my business, like create multiple streams of income. If you're an entrepreneur, you want to get refocused on your business away from this because remember, you all are givers, right? So your your energy, it doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman, your energy is directed outward. So you want to pay this person right here in dust. Leave them behind. Leave this person right here behind you. You don't have to go through all the drama anymore, right? Your ancestors have got your back, your side, your front, everything, whispering in your ear, giving you all kinds of information and messages. Listen, listen, listen to the God in you. We are all gods and goddesses. Some people don't know that we're just having a human experience. 
Yes, so I need you to focus on your business right now. Let's just go right into the second part of this. Like I said, we're not talking about numbers today. We're going to resume that on Sunday, so tune in then. Yes, I just want to give you a straight up reading today. So listen, yes, so um, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, this person was absolutely... A lot of times people think, okay, well, it's black magic. Somebody must be working, doing some voodoo or whatever. Okay, that doesn't even mean all of that, right? Just this, what this is right here is this person, you stay, you allowing them to stay in your space too long. So you have to be the one that leaves them, right? If you go back and watch some of my other videos and I talk about, hey, you don't give a person an opportunity to continue showing you who they are, especially if they're volatile, if they're, if they are... Um, you know, if it's a hostile environment, whether it's a work environment, whether it is a romantic relationship, platonic relationship, you're not going to snap on me more than one time. If you get that one time out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Libra? So again, this person needs to be gone. They need to be gone. And the way that you're going to heal from all of this is to focus on something that's nostalgic. And look, looks like some of y'all already left the hostile environment, which is great, right? Um, and what really, really helped you with all of that for you to see things at a God level of clarity, which is a crown chakra, is to meditate. You've been really tuning into the God in you, right? This is how you've been nurturing yourself. Again, you've been nurturing. You are a giver by default as a leaver, but you've been tapping into nurturing yourself. That's divine feminine side, right? So yes, that's what you've been doing. And look, as a result of, let me see, as a result of you, again, taking action and leaving that situation behind, and you had how many, you had more than one chances to leave that situation behind. But again, you may have given this person chance after chance after chance after chance. Maybe there were kids involved. Maybe your families were connected. Maybe this person kept promising you this and promising you that. But the bottom line was that you eventually decided, I'm out of here. See you, right? Again, before I even pull this card out, even though this has an animal with bags and everything packed on, and I'm like, they should be looking at brake lights. Like you, you in the dust, you gone, you gone. Just, just like I said, pay them in dust. Listen, get to shopping. It's your time. Like I said, now that you're gonna have access to an enormous amount of money that they were actually distracting you from, it's time to shop till you drop and not even think about any. Don't even think about looking behind. See how that person behind you. See how that per the wind is blowing that person's hair. They're moving forward. They're not even thinking about looking back. Look back for what? Business is doing great. You may be thinking about your past right here, but you're not going back to your past. Your possibilities are endless, Libra. And this is what I'm talking about. Is like you're focusing on the future. You're focusing on advancement. If you're working for somebody else and you're focusing on, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and apply for that job. Maybe I should do, or if you if you have your own business or you have you work for somebody else and you have a business, you know what? I'm focusing on my business. What new ideas can I come up with? How can I make more money? How can I enrich other people's lives? Maybe I want to hire some new people. Maybe I want, you know what I'm saying, Libra? Like that's where your mindset and that's what your focus is right now. So you're even thinking about traveling. Like I, it's time for me to travel. I'm not dealing with that mess anymore. So yes. And you're in a posture of gratitude. You've grabbed you and your soul tribe, and y'all are just grateful. Like, remember where we used to be like this, 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 that, and the other? I'm so grateful I'm not... See, they, they're not looking back. They're only looking to the stars, looking to continue to ascend and shine brightly. How do I shine brightly like these stars, right? Even in the midst of darkness, even, this, even though this card is light, they're looking up at stars. Yes. It's like, even in the midst of darkness, I'm still shining, right? And guess what? That person is going to try to come back to you. They want to come back to you. Why? Because, again, the moon exposes our uh, our moods, our emotions. It's, a, it's aligned to our moods, our emotions, our subconscious habits, our feelings. So this person is really, really missing you right about now. Like, wow, I really miss Libra. So what does them missing you have anything to do with you? <laughs> nothing <laughs> that's why i say shop to your drop libras and enjoy yourself nurture yourself however you want to nurture yourself manicures pedicures or get your hair done a haircut whatever it do spoil yourself and don't even think about but see i don't even have to tell you that because you wouldn't go back even if you saw a pig fly through the sky to them you wouldn't go back and they know it right so that person could have cancer pisces or scorpio in their chart you ain't thinking about going back. They're so caught up in their emotions right now. They can't even, they can't even see straight. They really, really miss you. But that 
is not your problem. <laughs> I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. That's not your problem. It's not your problem that they didn't do right by you. And the fact that you were on two different frequencies anyway, this is never going to work. This person was in the way of your money. They were just in the way. So again, continue being a compassionate person. Continue um, focusing on your meditation. Again, getting to your crown, activating your crown chakra. So in the future, when you meet somebody else, you'll be able to see ahead, way ahead of the game. You'll be able to see them for who they really are. Which may not be a bad person, but they may not even be on your same frequency. So you're not even going to waste your time. You're not going to waste five minutes or five years or even 50 years even trying to get to know them. Because you're like, I already just know. I know in one conversation, I know in one encounter, you are not the person for me. Right? So, you know, we're not even going to waste our time here. Lots of emotions in your cards. But the, the overarching thing here in your cards right now is the fact that... This person was really, really uh, distracting you almost to death. Like you couldn't even see the amount of money that the universe wanted to release to you. But now you're seeing it, they can never come back because they're just in the way. They're just one big major distraction. Some people are just sent to you as a test. This right here was a test, a major test. But guess what? You passed. <laughs> yes. You passed the test. The, t -t 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 the test. Ow. All right. So let's see. Hydrate. That's right. Okay. Drink your water. That's right. Get that skin popping. Get that hair popping. Yes. Get it together. Detox yourself from the inside out. Water is the best purifier. It really, truly is. You can clean off your gemstones and crystals. And by the way, don't forget to put out your gemstones and crystals for the full moon to supercharge them. But you can clean your gemstones and crystals with water. You drink water. You use water to cleanse your body. You swim in water. The whole night. It's a great purifier. It is the best purifier. So hydrate yourself. Yes. Yeah, for all the work that you're going to be doing, yeah, you're going to need to stay hydrated for your energy for energy purposes. There's so many benefits to water. But again, this person right here was simply in the way. They were part of the test, and guess what? You passed the test. So like I said, Libras, like I said at the beginning, I want you all to go out there and shop till you drop because there's more money where they came from. That's what I have for you. Bye.